Morning YouTubers, welcome back to Allotment Diggers, I'm just pulling myself a coffee, it's absolutely freezing out there. Now, yesterday we did a video and again it was freezing, it was frost everywhere, it's frost all over the place today as well. Now, it's been raining for the last three weeks, every single day, so the allotments absolutely took a right hammering with the water. It's flooded everywhere, fortunately m not for my plot, however um, we, we had a frost yesterday, we come down yesterday to put the Bunyards exhibition um, broad beans in, it left me with a dilemma because we did an experiment about four or five weeks ago, or four weeks ago I think it was, and uh, we did two lots of these Bunyard exhibition broad beans, we did some in toilet rolls and some in a polystyrene box, I'll explain more in the middle of the video about them so that left me with a dilemma but the biggest dilemma I had yesterday was when I come on the ground was frozen solid and um, I set the camera up and I filmed um, I filmed one of the beds far in out now the sun come up so you can see the sun moving around you see the the pole on the bird feeder start to move around the bed and um, yeah I'm, I'm gonna show this video it took two hours don't panic, don't panic. We um, speeded the camera up and that two hours become a minute. So we had a little bit of music to it and uh, this was the ground farming out while I was drinking my coffee, which I'm doing right now. So I'll check the video out and we'll be right back. So there you go. That was that was the the ground had actually by that point was um, was unfrozen. It only took two hours. So um, I thought right, time to get the, the these uh, bunny exhibition bra beans in. And um, the decision was which ones do I use? Do I use the taller ones or do I use the the smaller ones? The difference was about eight inches. And um, as you know, um, I suppose eight inches makes a big difference. Uh, <laughs> won't go there. But anyway, uh, why do I say it? <laughs> anyway, um, the the smaller ones. What 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 it was? The reason what we've decided to use the smaller ones, and the reason why we used them, is because. The, the roots had um, acclimatised basically to the frost. Now you've got to rem remember, these, these was done in toilet roll, so you only got a thin layer of paper between the, 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 the compost and seed and the extremes of the, the weather. Uh, it, I mean, it got, down to min it got down to minus degrees in the greenhouse, and that's what it was getting down to um, almost every night. However, the ones which were about 14 to 16 inches high, now they was in a polystyrene box and they had a thermal um, insulation of about yay, about yay thick and so they wasn't, the, the roots wasn't getting as cold so they, obviously they grown twice as fast. And you probably think, well why are you using them Matt? Well, the, the roots are not, I don't think they're strong enough to take the weather that's thrown at them out there. So what we did, We've gone with the smaller ones, so I'm going to show you me putting the smaller um, bra beans in into the bed. Now the the canes are already set up. Um, there's three rolls of five, so I'll be putting 15 in, but we'll probably double up with these um, toilet rolls, so it'll be two plants per per cane. 
you're going to see me um, using velcro which is very important and I'll explain more after the video uh, the reason why we're using the velcro and um, we're also be putting a screen around them to protect them from the frost so let me take it out there now and show you what we did yesterday okay well guys uh, today we're going to be putting these um, Bunyard's exhibition bro beans into the this raised bed um, right next to the chickens you probably can hear them all giving it a squat there there they are all spectators all watching but um, yeah what we're going to do we're going to put these into we're not using the bigger bra beans what we've got um, for the simple fact I don't think that they, they'd, um, they do very well they're a bit leggy these are a lot stronger they look they've had the colds getting on the roots so you know they've the, the, the ones were a lot taller, they've been um, in a polystyrene box, it might not have been the best way to go. They fit perfectly fine, I will give them to someone else but I'm going to be using these, I'm going to, I'm going to be using these ones because I think they're a lot firmer. And uh, anyway, I'm going, to, I'm going to put two plants per cane and uh, hopefully, um, once we wrap them around, there's a put like a green um, cover there. We're going to wrap it round for the first few weeks until they get acclimatised. Then we'll remove it later on, and um, it will stop the frost because it's been very frosty in the last few days. We've had loads of rain and it's been really frosty, but um, yeah, the ground's all loosened up, so I'm going to stick them in while I can. So I'm going to show you me doing one or two of them anyway. So let's get the camera sorted out and. Uh, Let's get planting, eh? These buggers here. Uh, I'm trying to do a job and I've got these all all wanting to watch. So I'm just <laughs> So you probably can hear them while I'm doing this. But uh what I'm doing I'm putting see how the ground's lovely and loose. So what I'm doing, gotta be careful how I do this. For the toilet rolls are falling to pieces. Nice root system there. So, put these in here. I'm going to get some Velcro in a minute and I'm going to wrap them round. But I did say I was going to put two in, but at the moment I'm just going to put one. See, I don't know if you can see that beautiful root system. And I could do this with my hands. You know, girls, you're putting me off. You're very noisy and very vocal today. Don't even need the trowel, it's the ground's that soft. Suing. Oh, 
Well, there you go. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to cover, put a sheet round them in a moment. These others here, these spare ones, we're going to stick a, we're going to stick a couple more in. It's a shame to waste them, so we're going to stick another one or two in there. Well, we've only got one. We'll stick another. I mean. The ground's lovely and they, they, I mean they're going to do perfect in here so as long as I remember to cover them <laughs> that's my problem forgetting to, to do the simple things so we've got some of this velcro and we're just going to put it round a few of them Uh, put the, the taller ones. I'm putting it loosely round them, I'm not putting it too tight. What we can do as it starts to get bigger, we can just move these up the canes. We just want some of the bigger ones, that's what we're after. Sorry about the girls giving it some, uh, they're noisy buggers here. Yeah, you put the 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 green bit facing in and wrap them round. Right, I can't reach from here, so I'm gonna have to go right in front of the camera. Yep, sorry about that. Been a lot of moaning there, girls. Hey, eh? I'm busy here doing this, and what you all you're doing is making a racket, aren't you? <laughs> eh? Buggers, aren't they? They're very nosy, very inquisitive, and they're just scruffy. They are. They've been rolling around in the in the um, the wood chip. Anyway, so we've got most of the ones what needed tidying up. We'll come back. We'll tie them up. We'll tie some more up when they they get a bit taller, and that way they're not going to fall on the floor. But we're going to wrap them up now with some green um, green mesh. So I'm going to tidy up here, and then we're going to do that. So here we go, folks. This one goes in here.
one goes in here. What we will do, we'll be sticking bigger canes in. I'm just getting these into position now. So there you go folks, we put a winter blanket around these bunny head exhibition bra beans. You probably see all the bottles on the top, that's just to, to stop me taking my eyes out on the ends of the canes. Always have bottles on all the things, all these here. And the one's what we're using, it's a must. So there are all the bra beans in the winter blanket. Um, we've got Velcro holding them up. We didn't make the same mistake we did last time where we just leave them. We've actually tied them up this time. Um, the ones what ain't tied up, we will come in there, it's easy to do, we just undo that velcro there by taking that cable tie and it unravels this we've got them on each point here, on the corners and it's a good idea to have a bottle here to stop the this um, this stuff rubbing now this stuff, uh, I don't know where I got it from but it's at I think it's about two and a half years old I've used it um, last year uh, we did. We wrapped the the runner beans in it, as you remember. I, I, actually, in this year as well, we've used it to do the runner beans. So it's pretty uh, pretty robust. Anyway, let's get back up to the greenhouse. So there you go. They're all done now. They're all got the they've got that frame round them. Um, I don't know where I got that that um, sheet that thing got wrapped round them, um, but it's lasted. Um, nearly two years now. I, I did the I had, them, I had it wrapped round the the runner beans early this year, and uh, it's done really well. And it's not um, degraded any, so I've used it again to to cover the beans. You did see me using the Velcro there, didn't you? And um, to to lift to wrap them round the beans, to hold the beans to the pole. Now early in the year, um, well, let's first say. Definition of insanity is when you do the same thing over and over and over again and <laughs> they expect to get a different reaction or a different outcome. So what did I do? Um, I Last year, about the same time, we put some out. We didn't put anything around them. And uh, what happened was an hard frost like we had last night on the floor. That was the first one. They come back up after when it thawed out, back down on the floor the next night because it was frosty the next night. Third night, back on the floor, and each time I'm thinking, nah, they're going to be okay. The third night they went down, they never come back up. So that was strike one against me. So another four weeks down the line, and by then it was December, um, we did the same thing again. <laughs> We've got them to a good size, we put them out. We never tied them up and every time i was saying i'm going to tie them up today and we left them they went over back up over back up and that was strike two against me anyway the third time uh, it was early uh, january uh, what we done we actually didn't put all those eggs in one basket we actually did another another sewing okay so so uh, the third occasion, they come up, this time we used Velcro and we tied them up and they flew up them canes and they were, uh, they were away. So, uh, yeah, don't do what I did. If you're going to do your bra beans, make sure they can't fall, flop on the floor because the frost will make them wilt. And as soon as the leaves get on the floor, they'll just, the frost will get at them and they'll damage them. So, you know. Uh, I hope you learn from my mistakes and you don't do uh, repeat what I've done. But yeah, unbelievable. Anyway, um, today is another day. And um, we've come on this morning. And um, first thing I did was to go down to make sure the beans were okay. And uh, in the process, you're going to see it all frosted over again. And we'll walk around the plot and show you. Yeah. And, um, We'll have a look at the beans and see how they're, how they're doing. So uh, I was going to show you this clip now. Here it comes. Well, the sun's out again today. And hopefully 
it will uh, burn all this um, frost off the beds and I might be able to get a bit of something done uh, now we put the, the the Bunyard's exhibition um, broad beans in yesterday and that's what the first thing we're going to do is come down and have a look see how they fared now just by looking at the front of the plot here it's like a winter wonderland strawberries are all frozen this bed that we we did a time lapse video on yesterday oh actually we speeded the video up it took two hours for this ice to melt off here and look at it again footprints there they won't footprints in the last video uh, so it is the day after we put the Bunyard's exhibition in and as you can see it's frozen again all the beds in fact are frozen we've got some daffodils coming up along the borders there there's a few breaking through here, through here. if you look down there you probably just see them coming through so yep it won't be, won't be long before they'll be three or four inches high, probably by the end of the week. I hope I can hear one of my girls. She's laid an egg. More bloody footprints here. Bloody cats. This is what we come to have a look at. And the good news is The beans have been protected by this uh, this blanket here. It is bloody cold. There, my girls. What are you doing, girls? Hey, is it cold? Is that why you think you're a flamingo? She thinks she's a fl flamingo here on one leg. It must be bloody cold. Yep, this is, it's that time of morning where they're laying eggs. So I'm not going to disturb them. You can see the frost is on the way there. They're uh, melting. But uh, quickly look around, look how what it's done to the soil there. It's uh, what will happen is when that mert falls, it'll collapse on the floor into a fine tilth. I really want to get me uh, my garlic in, but let's just look, it's like a sheet of ice here. It's another bed which is which we were going to use. In fact, there's a lot of beds what we can use. That's one where we're going to put the garlic, and again, it's not got as much frost in it as all the others. However, that blanket there has, um, has protected the bed, so we might be able to get, I don't know, it all depends on if, it, if the sun um, stays up. All we need is cloud and this won't, won't far out, so at the moment, Everything's falling out. A few apples left there on the tree. I've been taking these off the tree. In fact, I just took one off about 10 minutes ago. That's uh, going to have that in a bit. That's my breakfast. Rhubarb's frozen solid in this bed. I think I might put some arse when you're over the crowns. Um, just, just to protect them a bit. As you can see, we've got, um, my, well, you can see my shadow there, but in the plant pots, you can see the the planters, you can see um, daffodils starting to come through now. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a cold morning. Blue skies. However, there is cloud over there and cloud up here, so that cloud gets in front of that sun. It's uh, it's not going to fall out, far out I should say. All the trees have lost the, the leaves now, except for the one behind my plot. There's a few leaves on that. All the fruit trees have lost their leaves here now. Be doing a bit of trimming shortly. This path, that's going to get chopped off there. Uh, so I can walk down the path. I don't need, I don't need them too bloody too big these um, apple trees but uh, yeah anyway that's it I'm gonna go and uh, I've got other things to do but yeah we come down basically to have a look at the the Bunyard's exhibition and you get a tour thrown in on top of that so I think we'll leave it there for now
I'm going to get in there and uh, finish this video off I think so the beans made it through the night the chickens made it through the night the water with the glycerin um, in the water has uh, stopped it freezing although it was it was down to minus one last night it was very cold on here um, it's still very frosty now um, I'm hoping um, sometime in the next hour or two that the the Sun which is up there now um, defrosts the beds if it does I can get some of the garlic sorted I've got a load of garlic here I've got Germador I've got Casablanca I've got Solent White and I've got Porcelain White and um, it needs to go out I've got about 80 of each so yeah it's gonna be about 300 or so one gone what's that oh good god my maths is terrible to I can't think 320 I think like it might be 480s oh, come on man your head's hurting in it just can't think <laughs> You know what? I, I think I'm going to go with the 320. Yeah, I've got it right just without even thinking about it. I think it's yeah, it's right. Sod it, it's right. And if it isn't, make a comment. But uh, I've got about 320 of them, and um, so we've got to put them in. Only trouble is the ground's frozen, and we're relying on that sun now to get up and to defrost the actual bed. If we get any clouds, ain't going to happen so if it does happen i'll post the video up really short re really soon and me putting the garlic in and i'll show you what we the process we we go through to do all that but um at the moment i'm going to tidy the greenhouses up i'm going to finish this cup of coffee i've got here and i'm going to bid you all goodbye and thank everybody for um leaving your comments on the on the channel and for you guys out there who subscribed uh, thanks again for for subscribing and in the like button and leaving your comments so that's it i'll be seeing you very shortly and hopefully we can get this garlic out as well it's long overdue and we've got other stuff to, to to sort out as well as for these beans well we're going to give them to someone else so until next time guys bye for now